Hi, my name is David Festa of the Wallingford Hawks. I'm one of the skill development coaches uh, with the organization. Today I'm going to share with you a short in the pass with a double regroup drill. Some of the reasons that I like this drill is that it really incorporates a lot of different aspects of a game into one of the drills. We work on presenting targets for the passers, filling lanes, and flattening the passes when we're going through, as well as the regroup aspects for the defenseman in terms of getting the puck into a transition game and turning back up the ice. This also helps with the forwards in filling the lanes when we're going up the ice, as well as closing the gap for our defensemen. As we go back, it also incorporates the goalies at both ends of the ice and is really a high-speed drill that we like to use on a recurring basis. So the start of this drill, we'd like to start with the very simple parts of this drill and we can actually use this with some of the younger kids and then progress up to the older kids. So to start this drill off, player one coming out of the corner with a puck. He comes around the top of the circle and we want to make sure that he's shooting roughly about the mid-slot. One of the keys that we're looking for with our players is we want to make sure that they are shooting while they're still skating. A lot of times a lot of the players will begin to glide before they shoot and they're really losing a lot of momentum and a lot of speed. So what we're really enforcing and working on is making sure that they're skating while they're shooting. After he takes a shot, he's going to come around, we'll have a cone right at the edge of the circle and come across the ice. This is one of the keys to this drill. One of the ideas is that we want to introduce that east-west aspect of the game instead of the north-south. So what we're doing is as he's coming across the ice, the coach out of the corner is going to pass when he's coming out of the zone, inside the zone, and that's one of the keys to the drill as well, is you want to make sure that you are coming inside, and we can make believe that there is a defending and an opposition here. So you want to make sure you're getting good body position on him. Presenting a good target to the coach, you're catching that pass in stride. As you're coming up the ice, you're coming full speed through a neutral zone, making sure that you're, again, controlling the puck. Once you hit the red line, you're going to pass to your defenseman. As you pass it, you're going to accelerate around the defenseman. And the defenseman, one of the keys, is we're going to work on passing to space in this particular instance. So the defenseman is going to anticipate that the player is coming around, and he's just going to lay the puck out into this box, right into this, right into this area, so our forward can actually accelerate through the puck. Another thing that we stress during this drill is that we want to make sure that the, our forward is picking up that puck and maybe keeping the puck for a stride or two. But really we want to get really enforce that quick decision making and get the puck off his stick as fast as he can. So once he picks up the puck, it's one or two strides and he's going to pass it over to the far D. Once he passes it to the far D, he then is going to accelerate around the defenseman, behind the defenseman. The defenseman is going to lay the puck off the boards and he's going to make it kind of a sloppy pass. We, don't, we want to simulate a game situation. Every time in the game, the puck's not going to lay flat on the ice and it's going to be perfectly there for you. So the forward is going to work on picking up that puck and collecting that puck off the boards. Once he collects that puck again, it's an acceleration through the neutral zone until we come down deeper in the zone. One of the keys on this drill is we want to make sure that the forward is coming into the zone and coming across the front of the net. One of the ideas here is we want to make sure that we're driving towards that net, pointing our knee towards that net, and really creating that space coming across the front of that net. Another idea is we want to make sure that the goalie is getting his feet moving. One of the keys, one of the things that I'm always telling my players is you want to get the goalie's feet moving in order to get a goal. This drill will be used for the, the older, more experienced players, and it's really regrouping and using the full ice, but really encompassing a lot of the game situations that we'll see uh, throughout the course of the game. So three players are starting in the corner. Player one without a puck, player two with a puck, and also player three with a puck. Player one is going to come across the top of the circles, all the way around the bottom of the circles, and across the top, just like we did in the earlier drill. Second player is going to be the top of the circles, and he's leaving at exactly the same time. And again, he's taking a shot from the middle of the slot, again stressing that we want his feet to be moving all the time. After he takes the shot, it's around the back of the net, and he's coming up the far boards. Player three, now this is the timing aspect of the drill that we like to teach. Player three is going to take off at just about the same time as the other two players. But what he's going to do is he's going to go around the circle somewhat slow, and once he hits the hash marks, he's then going to accelerate. One of the keys that we're looking for is we want this player, player number three, to be at full speed when he makes his pass to player number one. And that's one of the keys. So that's one of the timing aspects that we really work on with our players. So now we have player one coming up the boards. Player three, who just made that pass, is going to come into the middle 
and we have player two who came here. So now we're filling all three lanes on the ice. So we have one, two, and three lanes as they start to progress up the ice. As they come through the ice, again, accelerating just like in the previous drill, once they hit the red line or just about center ice, they're gonna make a pass to a near defenseman. This defenseman is then gonna to start to regroup just slightly into the zone. One of the keys that we also wanna work on defenseman with is we wanna make sure that he's also coming back and supporting our defenseman off his back shoulder. So our defenseman can make a pass over to our D. While that's happening, our forwards are then recognizing that they're gonna be filling the different lanes and doing transitions throughout the ice. So this is where we ask them to be a little bit creative. Because again, you can see that they're, as they're coming back this way, we want them to come back towards their original D again in the three lanes. So it doesn't matter where they go, we don't tell them where to go, we actually leave it up to them to just be creative on the ice. Now as we're doing that, these defensemen are also coming up and they're also practicing gap control. So they can actually learn from the game and as it's going in and then coming out of the zone, they're coming into the zone, making sure that they're staying involved in the play and then backing out of the zone as it comes back towards them. So our defenseman over here has the puck and he has some choices that he can make. He can pass over to the boards, he can pass off the boards, and again, just like we did in the first drill, a sloppy pass if they need to, or he can pass the very simple short pass to one of his teammates. So we'll pick up the drill. Our players are still coming back into the original zone. Forward one is with the puck, passing off to the defenseman. And again, the forwards are gonna fill any of the lanes that they see, and we can have this guy do a button hook and come back up. One of the keys that we wanna work on with the, with the older kids is we wanna make sure that we're, we're stressing the importance of flattening the pass. Now what that means is we wanna make sure that when these players are coming around, and again, they can be going all different directions, as he's coming around, we wanna make sure that he's getting the pass while he's skating forward and getting the pass in the forehand. It's very difficult to pick up a pass skating forwards and getting it from behind. Now one of the variations that we also throw into this drill is we'll make the defenseman pass it back and forth between them a couple times. What that does is it forces our players to keep moving and understanding that they need to, again, flatten the pass, come back and give a target, just like at the beginning. So we're understanding the concept of shortening the pass. So as they see, and they have to read and react and see which defenseman has the puck. So as these defensemen get the puck, they got a forward who's coming across. He's gonna give them a pass in center ice. As they're doing this, again, we're asking the players to be creative, but also making sure that they're working, with, staying within the fundamentals. So again, we have the three lanes. As they're coming back and forth across the neutral ice, going east and west, and as they see the puck turn, essentially north, going towards the opponent's goal, is they need to understand that they're getting into the three lanes, so they're coming back in. Also, one of the things that we're stressing during this drill is our defensemen who did the original regroup are moving up towards the play while it's happening, and as they're reading the play, they're coming back in and retreating and playing a good gap control game, making sure that, again, the puck carrier is taken care of, they know who's talking, and our defensemen are constantly talking. So as they transition back into, this, into the zone, they're coming in three on two into the zone. And this is where we let them get as creative as they can in order to try and get a goal.